We're going to look at how to find a trig function of an inverse trig function of some sides. This will work for any time you have a trig function outside and then an inverse trig function inside. Uh, if they're both sine, so sine, sine inverse, there's a, a shortcut you can do. You don't need to draw the triangle like I'm about to do. But we're going to go ahead and draw the triangle because we don't have a sine and sine inverse. We have secant sine inverse. So first thing, we have to turn everything into sines and cosines. So remember, secant is 1 over secant theta is 1 over cos theta. Uh, so let's go ahead and examine the inside here. Whenever you have a trig of an inverse trig function, you're going to let theta equal the inside like that. And we're going to move the trig function to the other side. So we have sine theta equals 3 fourteenths. Okay, so 3 fourteenths should not be a unit circle value that you know. So I don't know what theta is, but we're about to make a triangle and we're going to use SOHCAHTOA and we have sine. Sine is 3 over 14, which is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so we draw our triangle. Now I'm drawing it as if it's in quadrant one. If you see that both of these, if they're positive, you're in quadrant one. If this is negative, you're either in quadrant two or four. And that depends on what trig function you have, what inverse trig function you have here. So I know sine inverse, the range is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So if this was a negative 3 fourteenths, I would be in quadrant 4. If this was cosine, uh, cosine's range is 0 to pi. So if this was negative and cosine, I'd be in quadrant 2. All right, but we're positive, so we don't have to worry about any of that. So back here, here's our angle theta. You cannot put theta in the right angle spot. I could have put theta up here but usually I go with the lower left. Now the opposite is three. So that's the one that's on the other side of the triangle. Hypotenuse is 14. That's always opposite of the right angle. We're gonna need to get this side right here. Now this is the adjacent side, so I can go ahead and use the letter A. And now we have Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus three squared equals 14 squared. 3 squared is 9, uh-oh, 14 squared is a lot, 4 times 4 is 6, carry your 1, 56, 14, 6, 9, I hope that's right. Alright, solve for A, 196 minus 9 is 187, A equals plus or minus square root 187. All right, how do we know if it's plus or minus? Well, we're gonna look at this again. Sine inverse, and I'll write this down. The range of sine inverse is negative pi over two to pi over two. So we have to be in quadrant one because we got the sine value is positive. So we're in quadrant one, not quadrant. Quadrant four would be a negative angle. So our angle is between zero and pi over two. Which means this adjacent side has to be positive because everybody is positive in quadrant one. That's why we're gonna go with the positive square root one, eight, seven. All right, so we have our triangle. We're ready to actually answer the question that was asked. I'm gonna rewrite that down here. That was secant of sine inverse, 3 fourteenths. We just 
said that this was theta. So I'm going to replace that with theta. And secant is 1 over cosine theta. So now we're going to use the ka part of Sokatoa. We have the reciprocal of cosine. So instead of adjacent, so normally you would have cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, but we have the reciprocal. So we have hypotenuse over adjacent. And for us, hypotenuse is 14 adjacent square root 187. So that 14 over square root 187 is our secant of sine inverse of 3 14 And hopefully, that's right there, 14 over square root 187. Okay. This process using SOGATOA works anytime you have a trig of trig inverse of some sides. Um, if it's the same trig function, so if it's sine of sine inverse, you might be able to cancel them. That's a little bit uh, off topic for this. But if they're different, which most of these problems are going to be different, you do need to make this triangle. You could do it with some algebra, but I recommend doing the SOKATOA method that I did right here.